Hi, right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's session. So let us start our session today, okay? Please sit in a comfortable position. Put your hands in a comfortable position. Gently close your eyes. We're going to do some breathing exercises first. Breathing, breathing, good, not fresh air. And feel the breath out. Whatever tension and tightness. Whatever feelings of stress and tiredness. Whatever negative emotions, negative energy in the body and the mind, you're gonna gently let it go and let the body abide in a state of relaxation and in. Okay, so let's try it. Gently deep breath in. Gently let it out. Relax. 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 For the second time, gently take a deep breath in. Gently let it out. Relax. 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 The time, take a deep breath in again. Gently let it out. Relax. 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 On the last time, take a deep breath in again. Gently let it out. Relax. 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 Relaxation. If there is any more tension and tiredness, any feelings of using or exerting strength in the body. Gently let it go and allow the body to abide in a state of relaxation and in action. Relaxation of the mind. Gently be aware of your mind at the present moment. Mm. 
if there is any wanting, cravings, or expectations, even for wholesome and peaceful states of the mind, you want to gently let them go and allow the mind to abide in non craving on one day and no expectations. Then you got the the mind abide in a state of inaction. Inaction means for the mind not doing or thinking about anything in particular. Not having the need to do or to think about anything in particular anymore. For this 20 minutes action time is a time for our mind to have a rest and a break of all they're doing one thing. And gently abide. Be aware of whatever can manifest through awareness. Regarding the body, by woman to woman, woman Not following any images, issues, or thoughts that arises in the mind. Also, not rejecting any images. Thoughts, issues that arises in the mind. We're gonna unconditionally accept and be aware of whatever that manifests regarding the body and the mind to our friends, moment, moment, being aware of them and allowing them to perish according to nature. And this relaxed mind and body. Let us do some forgiveness reflection today. So for a start, let us think of 
things that we have the wrong things that we have done the unsuitable speech that we have uttered and all the wrong mistakes that we have done in this life. We're going to arrive feeling of forgiveness in our hearts. And we're going to try and forgive ourselves for all unwholesome the mistakes that we have done in this life. Understanding that we did what we did was because of ignorance and defilements of the mind. Understanding that we did what we did was also because of not enough wisdom, experience, and mindfulness in those times. We did what we did. It's also maybe because of our own karmic results, I believe. And also maybe because others' karmic results ripen. That is why we have done what we did in the past. Understand this towards us and us relate to ourselves with forgiveness, understanding, and empathy, and allowing that feeling of burden, the burden of guilt and self blame and remorse to ease of to allow yourself to let go further. With that, let us relate to our things with forgiveness, understanding, and empathy. Forgiveness, understanding, and empathy. Forgiveness, understanding, and empathy. Forgiveness, understanding, and empathy. And let us think of parents. We think of some of the things that they may have done to us, which was unpleasant or distasteful.
and in our hearts and arise a feeling of forgiveness and we're going to try and forgive them or whatever mistakes or it was more than maybe they have done with us in the past. If there's no mistakes, then we can think of some things that was morally wrong and you find this is So we're going to forgive them with the understanding that they did what they did. Maybe because of ignorance and the defilement that arises in your mind. Understanding that they did they did was also maybe because of their wisdom experience and mindfulness was not strong enough understanding that they did what they did Maybe also because of our own um, selves, or because of the influence of their own karmic results. Because of all these probabilities, that was why they did what they did. If this understanding is our parent, let us then forgive them. Understand and empathy. Understand. Forgive them. Understanding and empathy. Or different understanding and empathy. Forgiveness, understanding, and empathy. You are going to let go of any burden, any feelings of burden in the mind. The results from or blaming or dislike of the things, some of the things that were morally wrong that our parents had done in the past. With the power of forgiveness, understanding and empathy.
We feel the with the e lightness and peace that has come about through the forgiveness, understanding, and empathy. Then we come back else. If there is any more towards ourselves that we need to have forgiveness for, we're gonna let it go and forgive ourselves in the in the present. May people everywhere and ourselves be filled with forgiveness in our heart. So gently take a deep breath in. Gently let it out. Relax. 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 For a second time, take a deep breath in again. Gently let it out. Relax. 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 Gently be aware of the feelings of your body. Gently be aware of the, of the feelings of your buttocks touching the cushion. And no matter whether the experience was good or good, doesn't matter. Let the mind come back or be aware of the present moment. And just like waking up from a deep sleep, gently on your eye. <laughs> Okay, so uh, today's uh, sharing is about uh, the understanding. Yesterday we explained about understanding that uh, we or and others did what we did, the mistakes, huh? the wrongs that we have done. It's because of definitely yeah, there will be defilements and uh, ignorance. Defilements means... Uh, uh, greed, hatred, and delusion, and all kinds of impurities, unwholesome qualities in the mind. Huh? Then we also try to understand that we did what we did, and uh, we and others did what we did, maybe because our wisdom, our experience, and our mindfulness was not, was not strong enough. Experience means also, huh? maybe we didn't have the knowledge. Uh, for example, parenting. Huh? 
nobody taught us how to parent, right? We just see what our parents did and if we if we never uh, intentionally go and find out about parenting, and most of the time we just see how our parents bring up bring us up, and then we bring up our our kids like this also, right? But there are many ways of parenting actually, <laughs> right? So that's why sometimes our parents may not we or our parents may not do something that is that that was helpful eh, to our kids and our parents to us also hmm? but how to blame them if they have the knowledge if they have the experience if they have the mindfulness to to do that to relate to us in a better way of course they will do that right but what to do <laughs> it just didn't have that chance or that uh, knowledge or the experience isn't it hmm? hello and with the generation different generation, different age gap, and the different culture in society. So actually not easy in you know, that so. Hmm? So when we have understand this, we can also have for, uh, forgiveness and understanding and empathy for them. Hmm? And uh, today we're going to discuss about karma, hmm? karmic results. Okay. So for karma, According to Buddha's teaching, whatever that we see, hear, smell, uh, taste and touch, it's all influenced by, and also the thoughts, uh, some of the thoughts that arises in the mind, is all affected by karmic results. Karmic results means last time we have some, because of wholesome or unwholesome intentions, then we go and say something or do something. And in that process, because of when the intention is generated, since uh, the, whenever the intention is generated, then the karma is generated already. Okay, and as you go and talk about it, as you as you do do something, and uh, uh, gradually it manifests into that, and along the process of speaking and doing, and also with uh in intentful with the intentful thought, then. Uh, karma is created. Huh? Basically, karma is a cause and effect. Whenever there's action, there will, uh, whenever there's action, there will be a reaction. Just that this reaction, sometimes we can know it through our eyes and ears when we, when we analyze, right? When we see something. For example, when you're ang, when you're angry, then the reaction will be that your face will become black, right? Nobody has a sparkling, nice, beautiful face when angry, right? <laughs> Yeah, so so when angry, then you have this reaction, isn't it? So so then we can see it with our eyes and ears, yeah? and we can see it through our eyes, and we can listen to the roaring <laughs> through our ears, right? Uh, so this are uh, this are uh, this cause and effect is what we can see, but there are also some that we cannot you see with our naked eyes and hear with our ears, you know. So this kind of karma uh, we call uh karma karmic potency or is uh the potent the potential for uh, karma energy to arise. So whenever we do something, whenever we think of something bad intentional in, intentionally, there will be karmic seed, uh, karmic seeds or karmic energy that is generated, and then when it matures, we we recognize we we name that as uh, karmic results is the because the the result is because of the the seed that was uh, previously accumulated or that was previously generated. All right. So whatever that we see here, uh, smell, taste, touch, and some of the thoughts uh, and the feelings, or sometimes body feeling also, uh, yeah, uh, that arises is influence of. Uh, influenced by karma, hmm? and not only for ourselves, others also, right? So sometimes when our bad karma ripens, then we may see something bad, hear something bad, and bad means unpleasant, huh? and then smell something bad, and then uh, taste something bad, maybe touch something that is unpleasant, 
uh, then also some unho unwholesome thoughts may arise also. Some feelings, uh, unpleasant feelings may arise also. So, <clears throat> uh, when we understand like this, then we can understand that sometimes some people behave uh, in, in certain ways. Sometimes it's also because of our karma also. For example, if people like insult you for no whatever reason, you know, you go to go to a you go to the shop and then the uh the shop assistant uh, is very uh, gives you a bad faith, uh, gives you a bad service, yeah, then maybe it is because of uh, our karma also. Hmm? Like that. So for us it's like this. For others also, like uh, when others other people their karma they are, sometimes they are, when their bad karma is ripening, then somehow that invisible energy will uh, and also because of our own karma also with them, our karmic affinity with them, sometimes uh we will be drawn to them and then to do something bad, you know. So it's to totally know exactly uh, karma, uh, which karma and uh, how the how it manifests. This one is the domain of the Buddha. Uh, but we can know, we can generally know that, oh, it's because of the influence of karma also. And that being said, karma is not like a, it's not a, what do you call that? A fate, fated theory. That means, uh, it's not like you're fated uh, to, uh, do this and to experience this and you cannot do anything about it. It's not like that. Eh? When we talk about, uh, karma is that there will be results that happen. Uh, there will be good results. You experience good results, bad results. But, uh, important thing is, we can do something about it. And what, what is it that we can do something about it? That is our response to it. Okay. And when, and our response to it, if you respond wisely and, and in a wholesome way, then that is wise attention. If you don't respond, uh, if you don't respond uh, wisely, then that is unwise attention. Okay. So for example, you may be sick. Uh, but because of your sickness, then you arise a lot of compassion for those who are sick, who have the same sickness with you. And then you try to help them and you try to help your fellow, uh, uh, sick mate, <laughs> even though you are sick yourself. Then, then in this kind of a case, then you are experiencing the result of your own uh, bad karma, which is, uh, making you sick. But, uh, and in the present, we are generating new, new good karma seeds that bring us health, you know. And when, when your, when the seeds are strong, then there's a higher possibility that we can, we can meet up with, uh, good doctors and then we may meet up with, uh, good nurses. We may meet up with good medicine and that, that, that can help us with our sickness. Huh? So the Buddha's teaching, uh, the, the teaching about karma is not like uh, a destiny theory, uh, but rather it is uh, explaining that we, we will experience good and bad uh, in uh, experiences uh, because of karma. But karma is not the only reason, but generally all experiences are influenced by karma. Uh, and But uh, we can improve our lives. That is a way... There is a way to improve our lives. There is a way to, uh, to come out of this. There is a way to uh, have wise attention towards the things that happen to us. Okay. So it's not like, it, uh, it's not like a destiny or something like that. Oh, you're destined to uh, succeed. You're destined uh, for failure. You're destined for sickness. Uh, of course, everyone will fall, will fall sick somehow or rather in the past, in the future, but like, it's not like destined to, to be like that. Eh? But some karmas, eh? some karmas are, are so strong that definitely they will, uh, they will be like that. Eh? The results will be like that. We'll talk about that eh, the next time, if that's, if, uh, if possible. 
But today, we just want to talk about this under how this understanding of karma helps us to forgive. Okay, so you see, when we talk about our uh, understanding that it may be because of our own karma or their karma, then that thing, that experience, that situation, uh, arises, and they maybe they do some bad thing or we do some bad thing, say some bad thing like that. Eh? So. How do we understand this? Basically, when we understand that hey, you experience this a hey, not on, not not because maybe sometimes not because of them, sometimes because of us also, no, because of our own karma also, then we experience that unpleasant experience. And when we maybe like if uh people wrong us, like if your parents uh, uh wrong you, scold you for something that you didn't do. Maybe because some last time we did something like that, right? So, in a, uh, if I I hope, of course, I hope that everyone will be able to have the ability to look at your to discern your past lives and to find out for yourself. But if you really discern your past life, there is no evil that we have not done, and there are many who, but there are also many wholesome deeds that we have done. Just the thing that we haven't done is reach Nibbana, okay? Reach the end of suffering, okay? So, there is a possibility that people will blame us. There is a possibility that people will scold us. There is a possibility that people will wrong us or something that we never do. All these are possibilities, but there's also possibilities that we will be healthy, we will be wealthy, we will be happy, right? Yeah, all, all, it's all there in the package. Okay. So when we, when we understand this, then we understand, hey, sometimes maybe not because of them, maybe because of my karma, but because of my karma, then they are, they react, sometimes they react to my karma, maybe because of their karmic influence also, and, but maybe sometimes the dominant factor of that situation may be my karma. So they, they react. Uh, in a bad way to us, then they are creating unwholesome karma themselves also. Yo, so what you are experiencing now, uh, they may experience in the future too. But because of we understand karma, then we understand, I oh, actually, I, uh, I'm experiencing karmic results. So uh, maybe because of my own karma, lo, like that. Lo. Yeah. And this is something that sometimes we cannot control. You cannot, you cannot control that I want this karma to ripen. I don't want that karma to ripen. You cannot control one. Okay, you can influence, increase the probability of a wholesome karma ripening, but you cannot control which karma ripens. Okay, so this is something beyond our control. Oh, so will be happen, will be happen no like that no huh? at that time hmm? at that situation, and that is why because of our own karma and. Maybe they have done the wrong things. And maybe then this is regarding our karma. Then uh, also it may be because of their the influence of their own karma. Their karma, their unwholesome karma is ripening. And because of that, then that day uh, they react badly to us. For example, if that day, okay, uh if if uh if that person is uh in a bad karmic state, then some bad karma ripening so uh, they may be angry, they may be sad, and then when they are angry and sad, you go and say, "Hey, hello, what's up?" And they give you a a, a black face, you know, and uh, give you a glare, and they turn back. Then you'll be like, "Huh, what happened?" <laughs> like that. So sometimes this may be because their karma, their bad karma, happening also, and also for us sometimes because of uh our uh, a slight influence of our karma, we go and approach them also, you know. But karma is not the, uh, karma influence everything, but sometimes it's not the dominant factor. For example, if you see that he's black face already, then if you do not have enough wisdom, <laughs> if you do not have enough wisdom and experience, you, then uh, maybe you go and find him though. But if you have enough wisdom and ex experience, then you know that, oh, it's not a suitable time to approach him now. So you can stay away. Right? So you, you can choose your response to phenomena. Alright? So with this understanding 
and we can understand that sometimes what we did in the past for ourselves, uh, what we did something wrong in the past or what we never do, what we never did in the past was probably because of karma. Maybe our karma, maybe because of others' karma. And with this understanding, then we can come to terms with our past. And well, if good karma ripen at that time, maybe, and we have mindfulness, then yeah, then maybe we will not have done that thing. But the thing is that in the past, we didn't know about karma and then our bad karma ripen or their bad karma ripen. Then because of our unmindfulness and maybe no wisdom and maybe no experience and maybe and definitely because of our deformance and ignorance, then we react, we react in a bad way. We react with anger, greed, uh, greed, anger or delusion. And that was why it was like that. But understanding this, then we can uh, come to terms with our past memories, unwholesome memories, and let go. And then also, but that's not an excuse. Eh? Remember, there's never an excuse for us to do it again in the future. So we just try to change ourselves, better ourselves, and make us better than our problems, better than our defilements. That's the that's the way to. I think that's the way that uh to make amends for it also because you will be by improving ourselves you will be releasing a lot of uh beings uh, from suffering <laughs> from our great hatred and delusion in the future. So yeah, that's that's the way to that's the way to overcome it also, uh, and by restraint and by developing ourselves. So this is how the whole uh, forgiveness reflection uh, works. And there's the core, there's the core of it. And uh, yeah, so this is like this. Uh, so I hope this uh, sharing will be able to help you guys to understand uh, how uh, this forgiveness reflection is working here. And then throughout the, throughout the whole course, we'll try to develop forgiveness towards uh, uh, many different categories of beings. But important thing is, uh, uh, important thing also, to try to develop uh, forgiveness towards ourselves or so. Hmm? Like that lah. Huh? Okay, that's also, uh, let us uh, share merits. So it'll be afternoon. Etavata chamehi. Sambadang punya sambadang. Sabedewa. Sabe Buddha, Sabe Sata, Anumodantu, Samba Sampa I share my merit with all devas, all beings, all creatures. May they rejoice in our merit. May they be happy. Idam me nyati nam hotu. Sukita hon dunya tayo. I share my merits with all departed relatives. May they rejoice in our merits. May they be happy. Idame Bunyang Asawakaya Wahang Hotu Idame Bunyang Nimba Nasta Pachio Hotu By the power of this merit, may it be supportive condition for my purification of the mind. You no more defilements. By the power of this merit, may it be supportive condition for my attainment of Nibbana. Mama Bunya Bhagam Sabha Satanam Bhajini Te Sabe 
มีสมังปุญญาบากังตบันตุสาธุสาธุโอ้อะ I share my merit with all beings. May they rejoice in the merit. May they be happy. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. All right, that's all for today, tonight's session. So I wish you guys uh, well, peaceful and happy, and see you guys in the next session. Okay, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.